and yesterday's trading was on some whole other stuff, but y'all see that in just a minute. But look, I do have a free Telegram group and a free Signals group for all the people who are under my affiliate link below, all right? So make sure you get in there so you can get in the group chat. It's lit, and we just going down. We doing giveaways, a lot of them. Some crazy stuff you ain't even heard of, but I can't tell you until you get in the group. You did. I will show you in this video some trade setups, some things that I look for so you can better understand how to trade in these markets. You know how we do. Check the video out. Yo, what's good, my people, man? So I am super salty. Let me tell y'all why, bro. <laughs> you see these three trades, bro. So last night, placed the 800. This morning, placed the 200 and got that. And then I didn't record none of those, right? This one was early this morning. I was like, you know what? For my last trade, I'm gonna go ahead and record it and explain some things. Placed this trade, did a whole 10 minute video talking about the setups and all that. Placed the trade, got it. And then the, the audio wasn't even on. Like it wasn't even, it was like mute. The whole the whole video was mute. I could see the screen, but it was mute. I'm salty. <laughs> I don't know why they be happening to you, boy, man. Cause every time I try to record, something happens. I don't know if I'm placing another trade. I said all that to say this, but it, I, I got a $1,000 day. You know what I'm saying? Between last night and today. And I don't know if I want to risk that to try to make this video. So y'all just going to get this work. I'm just going to explain. All right. Because <laughs> I ain't placing no more trades right now. All right. Here we go. First thing I'm looking for. Lately, this is how I've been trading lately. You know what I'm saying? I, I go to the M5. And this is how I've been calling my daily setups. And we've been killing it in the free group. I go to the M5. I find every point that turned around. Reject, turn around. Reject, turn around. Reject, turn around. You find those points. So I'm marking it up. Give you a couple of those. Boom. Come here. Boom. And then I might do one or two more. Oh, technically I ain't got to do that. I forgot. I could just click on this. There we go. All right. Boom. So essentially, this is what we're looking at. So now that I got this marked up, these are key levels, my key levels. I do see that we're in an uptrend, all right, based off of the candles being above this 200 moving average. This is the EMA. Now, if you notice on the Keltner channel, which is this blue shadow, where does the candles usually go? before it turns around to the middle of the Keltner. You, you look at the bottom, you really don't see much. See a little wick, that's about it. But they usually respect the middle of the Keltner. So I usually tell people on uptrends, you can follow um, the green candle if you want to, um, especially if the, the stochastic is way down here at the 15, because you're looking to buy when the stochastic is uh, at the 15. You can look to sell when it's up here at the 90 mark, but it's best to buy on the uptrend. You know what I'm saying? Now you can make money counter counter trending, you know what I'm saying? But if you ain't that, you know what I'm saying, that person, then it could get ugly for you. You gotta be that person. You know what I'm saying? Now my wife loves counter trending. I don't. She be selling on all the time on the uptrends and be killing it. But I'd be like, I don't know how you do that, because I can't do it. All right, so basically the only thing you're looking for now is come to the M1. All right, looking for the market to come down and then you get in on a buy. Now this is just gonna be patience. This ain't no like rush, cause it really ain't no rush. You get the best setups when you take your time. So now that we know what we are looking for, also you can um, see here that the stochastic is high. So we know the market's gonna have to come down a little bit. All right, so based off the M1, it can come anywhere between here and the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Or it could come here and stop and go back up. But we know it's gonna go back up. But we just know we are waiting on that drop so we can get in on the buy. That's the best entry. So that's one setup. Again, on this zigzag, which is this orange line, that's why I have this on here. The zigzag is gonna give you a prediction. So if the zigzag has already formed this way, it has to form again this way. So we know the market has to come down eventually to form a new zigzag and then finally go back up just to follow the pattern that it's been doing like this. Gotta come down, gotta go back up. All right, so down, up, that's what we're looking for. So now this is one we waiting on. So while you're waiting on that one, you can always come here, hit that star right there, and it's gonna pop it up right here, just like the rest of them. So all the ones you're looking at, you can hit the star, let it pop up, go through, mark up at least four or five of them, and then just click between charts. You know what I'm saying? That's all I do, I click between these charts, I say, okay, which one got the best setup for the entry that I'm looking for? And when I find that one, then it's game time. You know what I'm saying? So that's essentially how I do it. Whenever this finally give me the drop, I hop in on a buy. Sometimes I hop in on two or three of them at the same time. But that's how you can trade it. And I feel like if you do it like that, um, also, again, um, if you're not in my free group, you should be. 
but um, I do go over the uh, four entry rule and I can I can just put this out there for the rest of y'all so y'all can do it at home you know what I'm saying the four entry rule so essentially once the setup is right this right here let me just go to the M5 so you can see it a little bit better now I will be taking my trades most of the time off the M1 usually I don't take them off the M5 but I'm just gonna give you this an example so let's say it's an uptrend right just like this it's an uptrend all right but the market just dropped and it dropped somewhere in here so let's say um you want to enter and you're like okay i know it's gonna go back up but let's say you just right around in here all right it ain't fully dropped yet but you're like okay i think it's gonna go up from here so let's say you place your first trade here boom for like two let's say i'm gonna just say three minutes three minute trade you do a three minute trade right here all right the market come down even further and i'll say wait till your trade get to at least a minute and 30 and if a minute and 30 has passed and it ain't in profit you place a second entry all right and let's say the market you place the second entry a minute and 30 you place your third entry by the third entry you going in profit you know what i'm saying and sometimes the market will even come up and go take both of those in profit and then you may all profit on all of them but that's essentially what the four entry rule is now if you get to that fourth entry and it doesn't go then you should just be done for the day that'll help you protect your account all right and that's just what it is but you gotta have that discipline to do that another thing that that you can look out for if you ever see these candles get close to the zigzag so eventually this zigzag right here gonna connect with this candle if you ever see this right here this is kind of a prediction that you can get in a little early on a buy and then it's gonna connect See, it's pushing. It's about to connect here in just a minute. So we'll sit here and watch that. Sometimes it does reject and turn around. But in this case, I think we're going to connect. So sometimes you give it a little bit. So if I did like a minute trade, should be able to get it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do like a... Let me do about 30 seconds, bro. $100, 30 seconds. I did 200 All right, let's do that. Because I believe we're going to continue up. You know what I'm saying? And if we don't, then shoot, I just got cooked and baked. But I think we're going to continue up for at least the next 15, 20, 30 seconds. I got 10 seconds left. Let's see what we do. So that's my first entry. All right. It ain't going profit. So now I do three more for my second entry. And these is on 30 seconds. All right. And that second entry. If it go, I wasn't even planning on doing these trades, but I got to show y'all what I'm talking about. So there we go. Boom. So this is the second entry and it's going to connect to that zigzag. Like I told you, just let it push up a little bit more. Come on. It's going to do it. It's going to do it. I'm trying to take this precious little time to do it, but we're going to do it. Give me my money. Okay. Give me my money. Made a little extra money today. Come on now. But eventually we gonna connect you know what i'm saying so i would just continue doing that until we connect see i got me placing trades out here bro the market be trying to get me bro but essentially y'all see that that was my first entry first entry didn't go second entry went first entry didn't go boom so i placed three and essentially what you want to do is always place more on the second third and fourth entry to cover the loss of the first two the market taking going slow today is monday so you know the markets be acting weird this is essentially all i do y'all i wait the best times to enter is when the market is down here or up here. If it's down here and it's an uptrend, perfect. We hop in on a two, three minute buy and we're good. All right. If it's up here and it's on a downtrend, perfect. We hop in on two, three, four, five minute buy. I mean, a sale, sorry, a sale and we're good. All right. So that's just, that's just what it is, y'all. And you wait on the trades, you be patient and let them trades come to you. Yo, so yeah, let's see, man. Um, yeah, so 1,088 eight trades, you know what I'm saying? So, which is good. Now I'm done for the day for real. I ain't about to play with y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna mess with my profits. You know what I'm about? But yeah, uh, that's essentially all you do. I mean, look for the look for the trend, trade in the direction of the trend. Your best case scenario to enter a trade would be to enter when it's down here on the uptrend, uh, up, uh, enter when it's up here on a downtrend. You know what I'm saying? So. That's best case scenario for the best um, results. Use the four entry rule and you should be good, man. You already know how I do. All right, it's a new year, so I want y'all to be blessed. So y'all make sure you build your relationship right with the Lord because that's the only thing that truly counts in the end. 
make sure you're always asking for forgiveness and turning away from the sins that you're in because tomorrow is not promised and i want to make sure y'all get to the true kingdom you know what i'm talking about get to the true kingdom get to the true riches in heaven you know what i'm saying so uh lord willing i will see y'all in another video let's go going to different locations how they got one i need some direction me and Vinci go up every session cook it up yeah you know it's no pressure yeah you know how we do what we all in we can slow up and you never get